Hi everybody, it's Lisa, Twyla's mom, and today I'm going to show you my teeny tiny little Dollar Tree. Last week I didn't get to go to the Dollar Tree, which was a real bummer because look what I had. And I didn't get to use it. But that's okay. I didn't get anything too new or exciting, but I did get a few things, so let's just go ahead and share them, okay? I got a glass jar for rice. Yes, I did. So, pick that up. If you... Now, I have never been able to find a glass jar bigger than this one. So, if you guys get lucky enough to find one that's bigger, let me know, and I'll be on the lookout for them. But I love these glass jars to hold my noodles, my rice, my... I can't get it open. My noodles, my rice, um, what else do I keep in them? Pinto beans, um, things like that. So, they're great for that. Now, I did get into these already. <laughs> They were just good and I wanted them. These are the breakfast sandwich bars. I have never seen the sandwich um, bars. Well, they're called breakfast sandwich peanut butter. I have never seen these, so these were brand new. They are very good. And to me, they resemble the Nutter Butters. If you guys like the peanut butter, Nutter Butters, um, these resemble those a lot. And they're probably a little bit healthier for you. One of the cookies is 125 calories. Ugh. It's quite a bit. But, you know, I, I've never compared the ingredients to another butter. So, I'm just going to assume that it would be better for you. <laughs> I've already ate two of them. Then another thing that I have already gotten into was these they are called munch rights and they are in cheddar and sour cream i've already ate some of them but these were really really good they had a light hint of sour cream um and they were a lot like a cheeto but not quite as messy and powdery as a cheeto just a light sour cream they were very good this is something i will purchase again along with this all right oh now, and this was new also and i've already used it too <laughs> it is the fab fabric refresher refresher and you get 32 fluid ounces and it has the only scent I saw was the Tahitian Summer Splash. It smells really good. It does. It smells nice and fresh. I've used it twice already. I used it on my carpets in my bedroom. I used it on our pillows. Now, when you spray this on your pillows, your mattress, don't make your bed right away. I took. I was washing my sheets. So what I did was I just refreshed my pillows and just a mist. And then I did my mattress. And then I let it sit for a couple of hours so that I wasn't putting a pillowcase on a wet pillow. So remember that if you're going to do that, you know, on your beds or your pillows. Um, now this one, you have to be careful because it has a stream and it has the mist. You... It, I don't know why you would ever use this kind of stuff in a stream, but when I first sprayed it, it was like a stream, you know, and I didn't want that. I wanted a mist, yeah. <laughs> but I couldn't believe that they had Fab, you know, a name brand product. So I grabbed it. I should have picked up two, but I just, yeah. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I should have. Maybe I'll go back on Monday and see if they have any more. Because, well, this is Monday. Um, I'm recording this on Saturday night. Uh, 
I'll let you know if I get more. Yeah. I like it. It smells wonderful. Then I picked up two of these. I've got to stick them in the fridge. I haven't seen this brand. It is um, Victor Allen Mocha Iced Latte Chilled Coffee Drink. And it's in the mocha flavor. They only had three of these. I didn't want all three of them because I may not like them. But then I thought, okay, if I only get one and I really like it, I come back and the th other two are gone. So I picked up two. <laughs> They're not very big. They're only nine ounces. But, you know, it's, you get you get what, yeah, you just get what you get. <laughs> Then Twyla really, really enjoys these. I can't keep them in the house. <coughs> I can't. I can't keep them in the house, little booger. She eats them as soon as she sees them. They are the chicken and dumplings. Uh, she loves them. Loves them. Then I also picked up another one of these file. This is the only one they had. The corrugate file folder. Um holder. Corrugate file holder. So I picked this up. Um, I needed it for some stuff on my shelf. See over here? Where is it? Right there. Yeah, I need it right there. So, there we go. Pick that up. Uh, let's see. What do I have in here? Oh, I picked these up for Aria, my granddaughter. This is a glow headband in the Unicorn Princess. So, next time she comes over to Grandma's house, she'll have those. And then I picked up a Glow Unicorn Headband, which I might give these to her on Halloween, along with a candy bar. Yeah, because the, the grandkids... They're the only trick-or-treaters I get. And this year, they'll be coming over to Grandma Books's, my mom's house, because I'm going to help my mom pass out candy this year. Because I don't get trick-or-treaters. But my mom lives right next, a block down from a church where they do the trunk and treat, truck, trunk or treat. So my mom gets a few. So I'm going to go there, and I'm going to contact all... I've got one, two, three, four, four grandkids who live here in town. And um, so if I'm home, I have had been at work the past two years. But this year, I'm going to call them and tell them, hey, come to Grandma Books's for your trick or treat. Thanks. So there you go. That means I got to pick up Andrea a little something and Bryson. And then, of course, August, I'll just get him, like, a teething ring. He won't want a candy bar. And I also picked up some butter, some Blue Bonnet butter. I picked up a little tub because I had completely used all the butter in the house. And I also picked up two of the four packs of the cubed Blue Bonnet butter uh, for baking, which I put in the freezer until I need it. And then for the very last thing, I picked up three packages of toilet paper because I only have one left in the stockpile down in the garage. So I picked up three of these to put down in the garage because so far the bathroom has got more than enough, both bathrooms. And that's it, everybody. That is it. I There were a few things I picked up that I put back. I kind of had second thoughts. It's like, nah, picked up a loaf of bread and um because my Dollar Tree never has bread and I was there and they had two loaves of Wonder Bread left and I think why I never see it is because I don't go there first thing in the mornings when the bread man would come by and people just come and stock up on it because it's only a dollar a loaf and you know so they just get it you know so I that may be why the past couple of times I've been there in the mornings I've been able to see, find one or two loaves now I picked up a loaf of bread I put it back because 
after I got to the register, I remembered I had a loaf in the freezer, plus I had a half a loaf um, on the countertop, and we aren't real big bread eaters, um, so I didn't want to get too much of it. So I put that back. What else did I put back? I put back um, some cleaning towels. I was going to pick up some microfiber. Not, but they're not, not microfiber, but they're not a washcloth. It was almost like a heavy-duty paper towel type thing. I can't remember. It, it's not from Greenbrier. But I put those back, too, because it's like, <laughs> you know what? I have got tons of things, like old dish rags I need to convert or move on down to the cleaning rags and then buy new dish rags. I've got washcloths that need to be moved down to cleaning rags. Why am I wasting my dollar buying cleaning rags? No. So I put them back. And then I put back some wall hooks and I thought, why am I buying these? I have plenty. I just need to get off my butt and use the ones I have. So. <laughs> But as for finding anything really new or anything, I, I haven't. I haven't found anything spectacular and new yet. Um, I'm still waiting for Christmas to come along. Um, we do have a few Christmas items out already. But I really want to try to find um, the um, truck ornament with the little tree hanging out of the back. I'd like to find that to put on my tree because I think I'm going to hang put up the big tree this year not the little one. I think I am because I'll be home this year to enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> and we saved it. We saved it. We used the little one, the little four foot tree. I put it on top of the cedar chest and we used that two years but we saved the big tree. Um, so yeah, I might, I gotta decide. It was looking pretty uh, thin, I guess you'd call it. Pretty thinned out. I'll have to see what I can do with it. But anyway, I'm gonna get off of here, everybody. It wasn't a big haul or anything, but it was a few things that we needed. You know, like the toilet paper. Um, what else did I, I needed the butter badly because we had no more in the house and things that we really enjoy um these oh these were really good something i needed um i guess that's it and something i was this is new i was excited to find this <laughs> and monday when I go to Aldi's and Walmart, I'm going to maybe go ahead and stop back by the Dollar Tree and see if they got this. And I'll pick up two more bottles to kind of keep in my stockpile. So, that is it, everybody. I hope that you had a wonderful weekend. Um, and I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe, give a thumbs up, and leave me a comment. You know I love to hear from each and every one of you. Bye. Hi, everybody. This is part two um, to the Dollar Tree haul. Let me back you up a little bit. Um, my first part was done on Saturday. This part two is done on Monday. So first thing I got, I got some mac and cheese from Main Street Kitchen. And this has got bacon bits in it. Very, very good. I like this. Picked up three packages of the zombie lollipop fingers for trick-or-treaters. I'm going to go over to my mom's house. Plus, my grandbabies will get a couple of these. I picked up three packages of these. I picked up a package of Dove milk chocolate with peanut butter. That's for Grandma. <laughs> then for the trick-or-treaters, I'm going to go over to my mom's house. She gets a couple of... Uh, few more trick-or-treaters. I don't get any, but she lives just down the street from the church that they do the trunk, trunk and treat. So, yeah, she gets, a, she gets a fair amount. So, I'm going to go over there and help her.
But I picked up some bonbon bombs. These are color changing. Well, they're tongue painters. Picked up those, and you get 13 in there. I picked up some bubble gum pops. You get 27 in this package. And then I picked up some of the Chupa Chums uh, mini pops. You get 30 in here. So I think that will be plenty. Plus, I'm sure my mom will have some as well. I better put these back in here so I can remember to take them with me. And then I picked up a couple of these are the Play Glow Nunchucks. These are going to go to Bryson and Andrea to go with their Halloween because they'll be here um, at Halloween. Then for the brand new baby, he won't get any candy, but Grandma couldn't leave him out. So I picked him up this really cute book, Davy the Dragon Who Was Afraid, and it's a board book. Oh, I'm going to drop it. It's just a little board book. So I picked that up for him, and then I picked him up a Cookie Monster Rattle with rings. Now, he's not quite old enough for either one of these things, but in a few months he will be. Oh, uh, let's see. I have decided I want some ice in my freezer. So I picked up some ice trays. You get a two-pack of ice trays for a buck. Yeah. Just picked them up. <laughs> Needed some more of the Sleep Aid from Nature's Garden. I really like this kind. Didn't make me groggy when I get up in the morning. I'm planning on doing some baking where I need to dust powdered sugar. So I picked up this little sifter strainer. They call it a mesh strainer, but it, that will work just fine. And we are almost done. Okay, when I went back today, I found another bottle. They only had like three left, so I, I only took one. It's the Fab, Fab Fabric Refresher. This stuff smells really, really good. And I sprayed this on my um, bed, my um, comforter, and I sprayed my pillows and everything, and sprayed my rug in my bedroom because I have carpeting in my bedroom. And you know what? I can still smell it. And today's Monday. So there you go. It works great for me. Then I got a Fabuloso in the Ocean Paradise. They, And then I also got the Fabuloso in the Passion of Passion of Fruits. <laughs> These were the only two bottles that were the 30% 30 more. All the rest were the small ones. I wanted a lemon one, but they, didn't, they just had the small ones. So I went in and picked these two up. I'll tell you what, I can't wait for the Dollar General to get out the cinnamon flavored one. About this time of the year, they start bringing out the cinnamon ones. And then... I kind of treated myself and they have the new Christmas coffee mugs out. Last year I never could find a Christmas coffee mug. These came in a box, but I didn't buy one or anything. But I went in and picked one up this year and it has the camper that says Merry Christmas with the wreath. Now they had the uh, the round style cup also. I just picked up the rectangular one. I didn't find one last year. So I, I found it this year at my Dollar Tree. But it did come in the cup or in the box. Uh, I already tore the box up. <laughs> but I, I found one this year. I picked one up. This one isn't the the round one. The round one that they had also had Santa Claus on it. I just wanted the camper. So there you go. And it's double sided. So if you, and they also had the truck. I didn't care for the truck though. I thought the truck looked really, really fake. The way it was painted and stuff. It just didn't look appealing to me. But I mean, I only saw one truck. Everybody else must have found it before me. But they had plenty of these left. They had plenty of the 
rounded style one. They have plenty of those left. Um, so yeah, if you guys if you guys missed out last year like I did, check again because I bet you can get them. These aren't the same style as last year's, I don't believe. But that's okay. I got one. <laughs> So that is it, everybody. Um, there will be no part three, I promise. <laughs> I will talk to you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe, give a thumbs up, and leave me a comment. You know I love to hear from each and every one of you. Bye!